One of my favorite things to do is visit Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art where creativity abounds. We're here in late fall and it's feeling a little bit like winter given some of the precipitation, but it hasn't put a damper on the experience here in the North Forest. This walk through a particular part of the grounds at Crystal Bridges is indeed magical and made more magical by this incredible light and sound experience in the winter landscape. What's also going on here are not only some very creative permanent exhibits, but some temporary ones as well that are very much worth seeing. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank our sponsors. The garden tours are made possible by Gilbert H. Wild & Son, who've been growing beautiful perennials since 1885. Ralston Family Farms, a farm family producing delicious rice for your table. First Community Bank, whose heart is in the community, as well as Sun Patients, Super Cal Petunias, and Dragon's Breath Celosia, and Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Check out my website to learn more about the brands we love. Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art is doing something extraordinary. They do a lot of that, but this time they're really stepping outside of just art and exploring history as well as geography. This is an exhibition about crystals and you cannot believe it. By example, look at this. The exhibition is called Crystals in Art, Ancient to Today and it is absolutely extraordinary. It's only here for a limited period of time and so worth seeing. Lauren, look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Oh my gosh, this looks like something Elizabeth Taylor would have worn on her finger. <laughs> I know. One of the great things about this exhibition is that we were able to include I can't believe specimens. That. And they're from Arkansas and they're found here and to really be able to say these are the So crystals. this is one from the state? Yes, this is from the state. Our full title is Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. So typically all of our exhibitions have a focus and usually solely are showing American art or art related to that sort of experience. And what we've done with Crystals and Art is really expanded our mission. So not only do we have work by American artists, we have works from all over the world. What we were most excited to do is really think about the various ways in which crystals have played out in art and art history and with artisans throughout time. So you will see some actual crystal specimens, but then you'll also see some beautiful crystal items that were made. Like we have these beautiful snuff bottles from China. We have some beautifully carved crystal animals. We also then start to move into the contemporary moment and really think about not just crystals themselves, but how artists have used the properties of crystals in their works. What a trip. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my heavens. It looks like you're looking down into yeah. something that is literally infinite. That just never stops. They don't. Right? Yeah, because that never, reflection just keeps. Yeah, you just keep looking and keep looking. Thrilling. Arkansas is one of the only states where you can actually mine for quartz crystals. So not only do we have that connection to sort of the idea of crystals with our name, but that comes very deeply from us being here in Arkansas. Lauren, this has been absolutely dazzling. Oh, it's been so much fun to walk through with you. Well, you have done, and the team, have done an exquisite job curating this. Thank you. I hope so many people will come and see it because there's so, so many stories to tell from this one exhibition. Wow. Yeah, well, splendid. Thank you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> new to the fall lineup here at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art is a wonderful new piece that's going to be a part of the permanent collection. It's an infinity mirrored room called My Heart Dancing Into the Universe. Let's go check it out. Yaya Kusama has been creating Infinity Rooms since the 60s. She's done over 20. Uh, her first was in 1965, and it's, it's sort of a unique experience. You step into this space, or you look into this space, um, 
and you are surrounded by these mirrors. It, I, I always talk about this as being a work that you don't just look at, it's a work that you experience because when you step in, there are mirrors all around you and you become aware very quickly of the infiniteness of, of all of this, the, the way that it stretches on into the universe and uh, you're part of that. You walk in and then we close the door and, uh, and you are in this space and it's uh, 360 degrees, it's all around you, um, and, and you have your, uh, your sort of uh, quiet contemplative moment in there. This particular infinity room uh, is made up primarily of uh, mirrors, um, dark tile floors, and then uh, simple paper lanterns. But what's incredible about what uh, Kusama is able to do is that she puts them into this context, and you're in this sort of darkened space, and it's transformative. It's free to come in and, and, and see this work. These infinity rooms are something that, that a lot of folks see now on Instagram. And that's an exciting thing to, to see, but you can never fully understand it until you're standing in that room. And for many folks who, who live in this part of the country, it's the first time to have the opportunity to see one of these in person. And that is endlessly gratifying for, for me and for, for the museum to be able to offer that opportunity. I'm here at the North Forest Lights Exhibition and it is absolutely fantastic. I love the winter landscape anyway, but this sound and visual extravaganza, well, it's like none I've ever seen before. Robin, I love coming to Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in any season, but I think this is the first time I've been here when it's actually snowing <laughs> and enjoying this gorgeous North Forest Walk. We really wanted to activate the forest with a beautiful sound and light program, so we're delighted that you're here. Well, this is, a, this is Crystal Bridges kind of stepping out a little bit, isn't it? We're really excited about it. We spent about a year exploring all kinds of great alternatives for something very unexpected out in the forest, and I think we've landed on something terrific. I've walked this North Forest Walk many times, and it is extraordinary, but what you've done now in the winter landscape with both sound and the visual amplification is really extraordinary. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. We're yeah. really hoping people will come either by themselves or with their friends or family and take a walk around the forest and see it in an entirely different light. We worked with a multimedia company that does very artistic installations called Moment Factory out of Montreal, Canada. Oh, wow. And they have hundreds of artisans and composers, and they composed beautiful music that augments the experience. So that the you're music seeing. is composed for each setting. Everything is custom here. They've never done these particular installations before, yeah, and see. they're using state of the art technology to create sort of a sound and light experience. It's very clear that there is this, this intense connectivity between the senses, um, visually and orally. And uh, that was done intentionally, yeah. and I think that they really pulled it off. Right. It's also quite emotional. Most of us really enjoy being in the forest, but somehow the sound and lights and music mm -hmm. make it a more welcoming place at night in the winter. Mm. So you can really lose yourself uh, and have great experiences either by yourself or with others. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a little chilly tonight, um, well into the winter, you can come and enjoy a beautiful experience this without be, freezing to death. Absolutely, and this yeah. will be on view until February 16th of 2020. So we'll be open almost every night. We're closed on Tuesdays, but you can get a ticket at crystalbridges.org. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I hope a lot of people will come. And you know, it's a great opportunity for people just to come and hang out too. It is. In this, in this landscape because there's food and drink and so forth. 
Yeah, we have a, a food station, a food truck uh, in a little area called The Village, and you can mm. hang out there and meet up with your party. Yeah. And there are a lot of things to do. You'll be able to see artworks that are illuminated at night. And so it's a, it's a really full experience. And you can spend as little as a half an hour and as much as a couple of hours. There's no time limit, and you might enjoy strolling through a few times to have different experiences in the forest. You know, I've been in television and done production almost my whole career. Career, but I'm always astonished by really the amount of talent it takes to pull an event like this off, or, or in this case, an exhibition. It really takes quite a, a village, doesn't it? It's really true. We had 20 people or more from Canada who came down and stayed mm. with us for about a month to do a lot of the installation and the technical parts. My goodness. And then from our team, we've had 20, 30, 40 people working in the forest at a time, and mm. they're going to work here all winter long, which is a new challenge for us, but also really exciting to see people coming out and enjoying it. Yeah. So everything from electricians to our technical staff to our guest services and security team, our culinary team from the restaurant, yeah. our, everybody's really pulling together to make this a really special experience. Well, it's extraordinary. There's something about being in the winter landscape too, I think that makes it even more emotional really. I think so too, and yeah. some of us need a nudge to get outside of the comfort of our homes and take a stroll outside in the winter at night, but I have to tell you, it's it's totally worth it. It is. I mean, you just, I just sort of gasp at, at, at the way it comes at you. How many, diff how many speakers are out here there roughly? There are really hundreds of speakers hundreds out of here. Them. And so it's, it's, it's um, um, coming at you from all directions, isn't it? It is, and each of the five distinct experiences has its own sound program that mm. has been carefully composed and choreographed to merge perfectly with the lighting. And mm. for many of us, it's been quite an emotional experience seeing the, the light, being in the forest, and mm -hmm. then hearing the sounds. There's something about that combination mm -hmm. that just transports you. Mm -hmm. and, and that deep connection to nature. Absolutely. Yeah. We really want to foster more experiences like that where yeah. people have a chance to connect with nature and the whole idea and concept underpinning this installation has to do with the fact that everything in nature is connected mm, and totally. we need to sort of cherish and respect that mm. and with this experience it really draws that out and, and mm -hmm. there are, are specific experiences like the whispering tree that allow you to have a very personal experience with nature. Yeah, yeah. You begin to see the world in a different way. You do. Yeah, that's marvelous. Whatever the season, I hope you'll take some time to come to Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. It's an extraordinary place and there's so many things to see in the permanent collection as well as these must-see temporary exhibitions. Hey, if you like this video, like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And remember, if you want to be notified when we have new content, which comes up regularly, just ring the bell. And you can always get my newsletter every Friday just by going to pallensmith.com. All right, see you soon.